Hello All Blacks fans! Welcome to All Blacks Latest News, where we bring you the latest updates from the world of rugby. And now, we're discussing the potential selection of Sean Stevenson and Emini Narawa in the upcoming Rugby World Cup. The dynamic duo from the Chiefs have been in sensational form, with Stevenson scoring his 10th try of the season and Narawa weaving through Highlanders defenders with ease. On form, both players are worthy selections for the All Black squad, and they may debut during the reduced rugby championship or warm-up fixtures. However, only one of them is likely to push forward as a World Cup bolter selection, as the positional group is almost set in stone. Caleb Clark is the first-choice left winger, while Lester Feinga Anuku has been the backup and also brings versatility as a center option. Will Jordan is the first-choice right wing when available, and Mark Telia is his backup. These four wingers have the inside running on the World Cup squad spots. Narawa would have to displace either Telia or Feinga Anuku while beating out Stevenson in that selection process. Despite his brilliant form, Narawa's chances seem unlikely without injury to one of the front runners. Stevenson has better odds of securing the fifth squad spot for the outside backs, but it is dependent on whether the selectors want more midfield options. Jordy Barrett may be picked as a fullback, allowing for the selection of another midfielder, which would be the worst case scenario for Stevenson. However, if Barrett is picked purely as a midfielder, then Stevenson has a decent shot at forcing his way in as a wing fullback option over Narawa. Stevenson is well suited for the role of a second fullback, possessing both the height and size for test rugby, along with speed and natural attacking instinct. In 2015, Nehe Milner Scudder emerged as a talented right winger for the All Blacks in the World Cup, and this season, Stevenson has been the form player displaying Milner scudder like energy and producing big plays at will. The 26-year-old has filled out his 1.90-meter frame and has evolved to a level where he is playing a different game to everyone else in Super Rugby. With the All Blacks' disappointing defeat to England four years ago in Japan, it would be negligent to dismiss a player like Stevenson, who has shown X-factor and the nascent ability to manufacture tries. While Narawa may become an all-black this year, it is Stevenson who has a realistic pathway to France as part of the World Cup squad. So what do you have to say about this? Leave your opinion in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.